Welcome to the Keysmash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the player speed temporarily using a local class variable. As you can see, I'm starting off with a base. This base is similar to our character controller tutorial, but the only scripting that is already done is horizontal movement. So if you already have your own movement, then you should be good. If you are in need of movement, the link to our tutorial will be in the description down below. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to hit like and subscribe. To go ahead and begin, I'm going to drag the orb into the scene. This is going to be our booster object. I'm going to set the scale to 0.2 and the X and Y. I'm going to give it a circle collider. I'm going to make it a trigger. Give it a radius of 2.4. And then I'm going to give it a tag. And I'm going to call this tag speed boost. And then I'm just going to move it over to the right. For those of you who are using your own character controller, I would just like to point out that you need to have a collider of some sort and a rigid body on your character. Otherwise, the collision for this will not work. But that's all we're going to be changing in the scene. So we can go ahead and go to our scripts and we're going to open up our movement script. Again, if you wrote your own movement script, you just need to make sure that you're opening the script that has the vector that moves your character. Inside the script, we're going to be adding a few new variables. The first one is going to be a float, and this is going to be our speed. And then the next one will also be a float, and this is going to be our boost timer. And the purpose of this variable is so we can keep track of how long our player has been using the boost so that way we know when to deactivate it. And then finally, our last one is going to be a boolean, and we're going to call this boosting, and we're going to just use this to determine whether our player is currently boosting or not. So we'll go ahead and go to our start function, and we're going to give these some default. So our speed default is going to equal to 5. And the reason I'm having this equal five is if you look down at my moving, I currently have my speed at five. That's what I felt made the most sense for this scene, but obviously this value is going to be different game to game. So just make sure that your speed feels comfortable within your game. Again, for me, that's five. So I'm going to leave it as five. And then my boost timer is going to default to zero. And then my boosting will be defaulted to false. So the next thing we need to do is change our value of five to our variable of speed. And then we're going to go ahead and create our code for once we're boosting to determine how long we've been boosting and when we want to shut off the boost. So we'll go ahead and say if boosting. Then we want to be adding to our boost timer. And I'm going to be adding time.delta time. And for those who don't know, time.delta time just returns the value that it took to load the previous frame. After that, we're going to be checking to see if it's time to turn off our boost. So we're going to be saying if our boost timer is greater or equal to whatever limit we want to set, I'm going to give mine a value of three, but yours can be any value you want it to be. Again, this is just how long the boost will last. And then we're going to go ahead and set everything back to its default inside of this. So we're going to set speed to five, our boost timer to zero, and then boosting back to false. So again, this boosting section of code is checking if our player is currently boosting, adding to our timer so we can limit how long they're boosting, checking if we've reached that limit, and then if we have returning everything back to its default state. So the only thing we have left now to code is the handling of when we collide with our booster object. So for that, we're going to be using on trigger enter. And since my game is 2D, I'm going to add a 2D to the end of this. And then I'll also be using a Collider 2D, but if your game is in 3D, this will still work. You just need to make sure that your onTriggerEnter function doesn't have the 2D at the end, and that the parameter of the function is just a Collider and not a Collider 2D. So inside of this function, all we're going to be doing is seeing if we've collided with our object, and then if we have, we're going to be setting our values to say that we're boosting. So we're going to say if other.tag is equal to speed boost, which is what we named the tag on our orb, then we're going to go ahead and say that boosting is equal to true, that our speed is now 10. And once again, this value of 10 isn't important. Whatever speed you want for your boost is the value that should go here. I'm just doing double my default speed, but this value is totally up to your discretion. And finally, I'm going to destroy the object that I've collided with. 
I'm doing this because I want the orb to be a one-time use, but if you're wanting your speed boost to have multiple uses, then you can just leave this line of code out. So that's the entirety of our code. So now we can go ahead and go back to our scene. And we can go ahead and test and play. So as you can see, if I touch the orb, I'm going faster now, the orb disappeared, and then after some time, I'm no longer going as fast. My speed has gone back to its default. So as a quick recap, we used a speed variable to temporarily change the magnitude of our vector for our movement, and then we were able to determine if we hit the booster object through colliders, and we kept track of how long we wanted our player to be boosted through a booster timer and the use of time.deltaTime. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments, or feel free to join our Discord. The link for that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.